I mean, it's always tough when you don't have someone like Shani out there. I mean, we need him, like, bad. Um, what he brings to this team is just unbelievable. He plays with so much heart, with so much aggression, defensively and offensively, the way he rebounds, the way he puts the ball in the basket. Um, uh, we're going to miss him. And when he comes back, we're going uh, to we'll make some noise with him. What was going right to start the second half? I think it was 11 0 run. Uh, what did you guys have going well at that point? Uh, just rebounding. Uh, we, you know, was attacking the pressure. We didn't let the pressure get to us. We didn't shuttle. Everything was to the rim, and we just kept fighting. I think we got a little fatigued a little bit, and they kind of took advantage of that. I think that fatigue kind of led to some of the breakdowns and, and some of the turnovers in the second half. Uh, it could be, you know, just being careless with the ball. You know, sometimes when you, you know, in a situation like this, I was a freshman. I've been in this predicament before three years ago, so uh, you know, I, I know how it feels sometimes. You know, it's different, you know, different atmosphere, but you know, now I just really got to work with the younger guys, especially going into Saturday, because they'll never be able to, they'll never, you know, they've never experienced anything like Saturday, so. Do you guys carry some confidence into that place, knowing how close you came last year there? <laughs> Come on, man, you know the answer to that. Come on, man. I, I still got that bad taste in my mouth. But yeah, uh, we're hungry. We're, we're looking forward to that game, looking forward for that opportunity again. Um, you know, um, I can't wait. Uh, this is what we talk about. This, this is what you come to wait for for, to, to play in that type of environment, to showcase your talent, to showcase what you do. Um, we're not ready to play. There's something that's wrong. You know, I tell guys all the time, man, just enjoy it. You know, I know it's competitive. I know, you know, we kind of get, you know, we talk to one another the different ways in the heat of the moment, but enjoy it and have fun because you may never know when you'll get the opportunity. How many times do you watch the replay of your shot at the end of that one? Every day. Every day. Do you get like queued up, saved on the phone or computer? Uh, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of film at home, and then also uh, I do fan every now and then send me the videos through my direct messages on Instagram to tell me you know I'm terrible or something like that. So I have to. Yeah. The same Duke fan or different Duke fan? <laughs> You don't read it, but you watch the video too. I mean, it, like it comes up as the video. Okay. And then once I see that, I just like, alright, whatever. Like, so. Is that another thing that just kind of comes with playing in the ACC, or is that something that? I just think that's the fan base at, at Duke. You know, we just hear that so many other schools. So. Brandon, how? I love the ACC. <laughs> how does Florida State compare in terms of uh, anybody else you guys have played with their length and what they can do defense? I'm sorry, repeat the question one more time, please. How does Florida State compare to, to maybe anybody else you play with their length and, and how they how that factors into how they play defensively? Oh, they play 9, 10 deep. They've always been like that throughout my four years. Uh, Trent Ford is a heck of a point guard. 6'4", really athletic, long arms, can wear you down, pick you up 94 feet, and that's everybody on the team. Uh, they switch five. I mean, it's tough. You know, that's, that's, what you, that's what you're coming for. Each team has their different scheme. Syracuse. They have their zone. Georgia Tech has. They play multiple zones in one possession. And Florida State, they switch five. So, you know, you just got to be ready for it. But Florida State length and, and athleticism. I mean, that's that's what they do. That's their strength. Pick you up 94 feet, wear you down, and, and they did that.